Hello everybody, this is Scott from NewDailyExhibition.com and today we're doing a another update with Driver Booster. Driver Booster's also been updated. I hope it's actually been fairly busy lately. And this one is actually a fairly interesting update. Driver Booster 2 has a lot more features and is meant to be more for gamers. It's meant to optimize your gaming performance, whether it is something simple as a Flash game to something as complex as an MMORPG. Your drivers are what fu allow certain items in your computer to function, whether it is your screen, your graphics card, your sound card, all of them have drivers that need to be updated, not only for security reasons, but for performance issues. And Driver Booster, the newest update, has allowed, it is more targeted t towards gamers than the previous version. For instance, we have Unity Web Player, which I actually use. I do play games online every once in a while. In fact, I even have a website for games, which is called thearcadecorner.com. And I ha I love having my things updated so that way they'll actually perform, you know, actually at a reasonable speed. And they'll actually be worth my time. So we've got a bunch of programs that it actually monitors for me now, which actually makes this far better than just a little um, than just a little driver updater. This has got Adobe Air, Adobe Shockwave, Java, uh, Microsoft DirectX, OpenAL, which is your audio library, and uh, Physics, PhysX, as well as the Unity Web Player. So it's got a lot of game features that can be played. It's got basically everything that is required to run a game, not only that is downloadable, but from a website. So, I'm going to actually download the update for Unity Web Player because I did not do that and I really should. Let's go to the details. Yep, 547 kilobytes. I'm going to actually update it. You may need to de <coughs> disable my security software. That's fine, I'll turn it off. I don't want to have anything bad happen to it. So, what's going to happen is it's start going to start updating. It's going to download the file and it's giving me a nice layout right here. And it gives you a silent installation. This means it's not going to keep worrying about you with pop-ups or anything. It's going to install it on its own. You could turn off silent installation in the settings, which I will show you at the end of the uh, installation process. Basically, though, it, it it's supposed to make your computer do it on its own, as opposed to you having to go through each and every one of the steps, which could be quite tedious. So right now, it's installing the Unity Web Player. As we go, see, it's downloading it, and it's installing it, and my update's done. Now, if I have to go back, and I'm going to have it rescan my computer. It said my driver performance is extremely bad, which is kind of outrageous, but I'm not going to care. That's mostly because I have apparently a PCI simple communications control, which I do not have installed. And I've also not updated my... Uh, my uh, network adapter, which is also bad. Get off my back. But now I'm going to show you the settings and how to do this. In your settings, you have you could change simple things from font size to launching at Windows to increasing the transparency to the black, and of course, as with all the products, a great language translation. Okay. You you could scan every week. It, it'll it'll do automatically scan. It'll automatically scan for updates for your game components. You could turn each and every one of these off. This right here is an interesting call, thing called the WHQL testing. Microsoft tests drivers on software and hardware that can potentially cause issues with the Windows installation. So. You can turn this off and you may have more driver updates. However, if they did not pass the WHQL testing, I do not recommend installing them. For the simple reason that if it causes issues with your computer, you may either have to roll back or reinstall everything and wipe your drive. And I don't think any of us want to go through the painstaking process of doing that. Your drivers will give you an automatic installation, you download folder, save all downloaded drivers to this folder backup folder automatically create a system restore point that right there's a key thing basically 
it'll create a system restore point before it downloads and installs the driver. This is great in case you download a driver that is funky. And not the funky fresh, I mean funky that causes your computer to bust. This is an interesting feature because it can be quite... It, it, it's only really a bad thing if you download each and every one a ton of times and you get like five installations. That can be a rather pain. However, it's a wonderful feature because it gives you a restore point so that we, in case your computer gets any damage. And as I said, to turn off your silent station, installation, you can come here. They recommend that you keep it on so that way you can do it silently and you don't have to do any effort because, as I said, we're human, we are lazy. We are monkeys, sort of, maybe. Maybe. But we're, we don't want to do why, why do work when it does it for you and it does it flawlessly? So, Driver Booster is becoming not a necessity, but a very good toolbox for anyone who uses their computer. I know a lot of people who are very technical prefer to look up the drivers and download them manually. However, it's not really necessary. If you prefer to download them manually, that's great. I may or may not do that. It really depends on my mood. Sometimes I may do it. Especially when ones that I don't have them installed, I'm kind of apprehensive to doing it. But if I have it installed and they're not working, well, they're not updated, well, then there's the issue. So, it's a wonderful program. It really is. It has a ton of features. Great, great for gamers because if your drivers are up to date, not only are they more compliant with your games, they may also increase the frame rate of your games and increase the performance of your overall machine. They may take, of course, every update gives a little bit of extra space taken on your hard drive, but that's clearly not even a bad thing for increased security and a more optimized game. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, put them in the put them in the uh, comments below. If I'll make sure to get to them. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.